will love this. Try it. I'm making a summer squash casserole and I think it's something that you will love. I know our family loves it and it's pretty quick and easy. So let me show you how we get started with this. Uh, you know, in summer you usually have yellow squash and zucchini squash and a lot of times you don't even have to buy it because your neighbors or your business friends or friends, they will give it to you because they have so much of it. So this is a great, great way to use it. What you wanna do is uh, take off the ends of your squash and then really thinly slice the rounds like that. And then you're gonna throw them in a bowl. You're also going to thinly slice an onion, just whatever onion you have on hand of a deli or a yellow onion. Really thinly slice it and add that to your bowl as well. And after I get all these cut up, I'm going to show you the next step. And like I told you, it's not going to take long. It's super easy. Zucchini and yellow squash cut in a nice thin rings along with my onion. And to that, I'm going to add olive oil. And I'm going to give it a really pretty liberal drizzle. Probably about a third a cup in there. And I'll see if that's enough once I start tossing it. About a half a teaspoon of salt. We'll add to that and a nice long grinding of pepper here. Yeah, that looks good. And we're just going to toss that and I'll see if we get it coated liberally. If not, I'll add a little bit more. All right, that was perfect. It's, as you can tell, the uh, zucchini and the onion are really nicely coated. So about a third a cup. And then uh, my cameraman actually suggested I use my hands, make sure that uh, I got it liberally coated. So I took his advice and it worked pretty well. Okay, that's a nice, generous amount of zucchini, but uh, I love this so much I eat it for lunch the next day. So I definitely wanna have some leftovers. And you just wanna make sure you have a nice, even layer. So again, hey, use your hands. They're clean. Hands are your best utensil. I heard that somewhere, okay. So that looks pretty good. Next, we're going to start on the top layer, which uh, will add some more flavor and texture. And that is, you need some breadcrumbs and you need some Parmesan cheese. And right after I wash my hands, I'll show you what we do there. This is so easy that the top is only, the topping for this is only combined or uh, made up of two ingredients. So about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. This one happens to have a little bit of seasoning like parsley and I think some garlic in it. And then, about almost a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And this is just grated Parmesan. And then you're just gonna mix those together. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. All right, we're gonna stick this in a 350 onion. I'm gonna, in a 350 oven, I'm gonna cover it first with some foil. And for about half an hour, we'll let it cook. Then I'll take the foil off at the last maybe 10 minutes and let it brown up. So we'll show you how that looks. Going in for a bite. Squash casserole. Mm. You will love this. Try it. Mm. 